I'm currently in the process of transitioning back to curly hair and if you are anything like me and have damaged your hair because of heat, chemicals or anything of that nature, just follow these tips and I guarantee you will get your curls back. So for my first tip, this is a no brainer but I had to include it, stop using heat. If you want to get your curls back, you need to avoid using heat as much as possible. In the last four months, I have only used heat on my hair twice and I still haven't got my curls back. This actually leads to another tip. Be patient. Getting your curls back takes time. You can't do that in a month or two. So please be patient and trust the process. For my second tip, get a good haircut. You need to get rid of your split ends. Don't get me wrong, I'm not saying cut off all of your hair and start from scratch, but if you don't get rid of your damaged hair, not only will it weigh down your curls, but your split ends will continue to split into two, three or more. And as a result, you won't be able to get the beautiful curls you desire. This tip is crucial. What you put in your hair makes a lot of difference. So if you're trying to get your curls back or even just maintain your curls, use sulfate, paraben and silicone free products. This Diva Curl No Poo Shampoo is great. It cleanses your hair without stripping your curls of its natural oils. If this is a little bit too pricey, then I suggest trying out the Shea Moisture Range, but I love the Diva Curl products and for me, it's worth every penny. Thank God for Olaplex. Olaplex rebuilds broken hair bonds. Last time I had my hair bleached, which was not too long ago, I had the Olaplex treatment done and thank God that I did, otherwise I would have no hair left. I actually bought the home version too, which is the number three, and after every use, my hair looks so shiny and defined and it feels so soft. To use this, I simply apply a generous amount all over my hair, from roots to tips, and I leave it on over night the following morning i wash it off and style and oh my god my hair literally looks stunning to sleep always use a satin or silk pillowcase or a satin lined cap i love this one from grace ellier they actually sent me this and i'm so happy that they did because not only is it super comfy to wear but my day two and day three hair actually looks pretty good my curls in this video are three days old and although it's a little bit frizzy it's nowhere near frizzy enough as it would be if i weren't sleeping with this on so remember Curly hair dries out quickly and cotton is often the moisture sucking culprit so I suggest to always wear a satin lined cap. Okay so if you watched my previous curly hair videos you will know I don't usually use a conditioner. After a shampoo I always go in with a deep conditioning mask but once again Afoji has changed the game. I have recently discovered their keratin two minute reconstructor and I have noticed major difference in my curls since I started using this. This is by far the best conditioner I have ever tried and it's super affordable as well. So to speed up my hair growth so I can finally get rid of these damaged ends, I need a little bit of a push. I'm currently loving these Sugar Bear hair growth supplements. Not only do they taste amazing, literally like sweets, but they actually work. My roots are coming in fast. I can see that my hair is definitely growing. Get rid of your hairbrush. To prevent breakage, I highly recommend that you detangle your hair using your fingers or a wide tooth comb whilst you're in the shower. Trust me when I say this, only use a microfiber towel to dry your curls. A microfiber towel will absorb excess water and reduce frizz. I love my microfiber towel by Only Curls and I also have a 10% off discount code so check the description box below for that. This tip is simple but handy. Whilst warm water opens up the hair's cuticles to allow the shampoo and conditioner to do its job, cold water helps to close the cuticle to seal in moisture. So always rinse with cold water. Okay, so for my favorite tip, use protein treatments. Personally, I think the best protein treatment out there is the Afoji 2-step. I genuinely believe this is the key to getting your curls back. To use this, I simply apply a generous amount of the two-step onto clean and damp hair. 
Then for an even distribution, I brush it out using my tangle teaser. Now to activate the treatment, I go in with my blow dryer on the medium heat setting. If you have a hooded dryer, I suggest to use that instead. Now, once the treatment is completely dried into the hair, the hair becomes extremely hard. Do not agitate your hair by touching it. Once it's completely hard, wet your hair and rinse thoroughly with warm water. Now for the second step, I apply a generous amount of the balancing moisturiser onto my hair and scalp and I leave it on there for two minutes. Then I rinse thoroughly and style as usual. And that's pretty much it. Trust me, if you want to get your curls back, get your hands on the Afro G2 step. Not only is it super affordable, but it actually works. For my last tip, I love coconut oil. I literally use this for everything, my hair, my skin, cooking, and I always style my hair using coconut oil. And I do weekly hot oil treatments as well. If you guys want to do a hot oil treatment, just make sure that you don't put the coconut oil in the microwave, as I'm pretty sure that it destroys all of the nutritional qualities. But apart from that, go ham. Coconut oil is the shizzle. So that's it for this video. I'm coming out with loads of curly hair videos for you guys. So stay tuned. If you guys want to see more of my videos, then subscribe to my channel. Also comment down below what you guys want to see next. And give this video a big thumbs up. It really helps me out. And until next time, take care. Love you lots. Beijos.